If you know Power BI and want to learn Metabase, you are in exactly the right place. In this video, we will first show you how things are done in Power BI, and then we will teach you how to do the same things in Metabase. I'm excited to introduce Greg. He has a lot of experience with Power BI. Big thanks to him for helping us out today. Greg, over to you. Thanks. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Deckler, and I'll walk you through the Power BI workflows first so you can see exactly how things are done before we move on to Metabase. So let's dive in and get started. In Power BI, you can connect to many types of data sources. For this demo, we'll use import data from Excel and load the Metabase sample dataset. After selecting the file, the navigator opens where we can preview the data and select the tables. We'll select them all. Instead of clicking load, we'll choose transform data to open the Power Query editor. Here we can clean our data, for example, change data types by clicking the icon next to a column name. There are also many other transformations we can apply. Once done, we'll hit close and apply, and in a few seconds, our data is loaded into the model. In Metabase, you can connect to different databases, and you can see them listed under the databases sections in the sidebar. From there, you can view the raw tables inside these databases. If you want to edit the metadata of any table, for example, change the field types or column names, you can do that by going to admin settings and then table metadata, select the database that you want to change the table inside it. And then from there, you can make your changes. So Metabase understand your data properly. Also, you can upload a CSV file or even connect to a Google Sheets. Back in Power BI, we have three main views that we work with. There's the model view, which shows the tables in the semantic model, as well as relationships between the tables. You can create new relationships by just dragging and dropping fields from one table to another. There's the data view, which gives you a view of your raw data that's in your tables. And finally, the report view, where we can drag and drop fields from our data on the canvas in order to create visuals. In Metabase, you don't have separate views like in Power BI. Instead, on the sidebar, you will see collections. Think of them like folders to organize your workspace. You can save your queries and your dashboard inside these collections. And to create a new query, you can use either the Query Builder or the SQL Editor. The result of any query, we call it in Metabase, a question. Now, when you open the Query Builder, there is a lot of stuff you can do. First, you pick up any table, and then you can join it with another table, for example, from the same database. You have the option to create a custom column, also, you can add a filter to narrow down your data, and then you can summarize it and then group it by any dimensional column. And you have the option to sort your results and even to limit how many rows you see. And when you press and visualize, you will see it as a chart. This is the result of this query. And you can also switch to a table view to see the result of the query. After that, you need to save it either in a collection or directly into a dashboard so you can use it later. As you can see, Power BI will choose a visual based upon the data that's placed into that visual. However, you can also change the visual type by using the visualizations pane, so a column chart or a table. We can even add additional information into the visual. And then that additional information will be shown within the different visual types. In Metabase, if you want to change the visualization of your query, just press on the visualization button, and then you can choose a different one, like a line chart, pie chart, area, and more. And to customize the visualization, you need to press on the gear icon, and from there, you can edit the data display, uh, for example, the number formatting. Also, you can change the labels and other settings to make your chart look exactly how you want. In Power BI, we can create custom calculations using a language called DAX. So here, I'm actually just taking the average of the ratings in the review table. We can create that measure, and then we can actually use that measure in visualizations as shown here. And then I can sort this and see which vendors have the highest rating. In Metabase, we have custom expressions. These are formulas that you can use to create a new custom column filter your data, or summarize it. For example, in the orders table, we can quickly create a custom column to create the item price per unit. 
we just need to divide the column subtotal by the column quantity and give it a name and then you can see the results. You can even use the custom expressions in the summaries when you press on summarize and then you choose custom expression. And then if you press on the F, you can view all the available functions that you can use. For example, let's say we want to show the share of orders where the total is greater than 50. So we can write share of total greater than 50, give it a name, and now we can see the results. Also, we can group our results into any dimensional column. Just press on summarize or from the editor, and under the group by, you can choose the column you want to group by. For example, by product category. In Power BI, we can put multiple different visuals on a single page to create a report or a dashboard. And all of these visuals are interactive with one another. To add the dashboard to MetaBase, press on New and then Dashboard. Give it a name and select the collection you want to save it. And then you can add the question that you already saved. Let's select several questions from here. And you can easily move and resize these cards to design your layout that the way you like. You can also add the text box or a title or description for your dashboard. Also, you can add filters. For example, let's add a region filter. And then we need to connect this filter to the cards on your dashboard. And to make the dashboard interactive, hover over a card and click on select the click behavior then change the action to update a dashboard filter. You need to pick up the filter and then you need to choose the column that you want to filter on. And after that, when you click on the chart, the whole dashboard will be updated based on the filter you applied. And if you want to go deeper, you can even drill through just to click on any chart and you can zoom in to see the data behind it. And that's it. We have created a cheat sheet to help you with your transition. You can download it from the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.